What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle on the channel. This Wi-Fi battle is going to be brought to you by the Lord Envy himself. Shout out to Lord Envy for the team. Uh, but this is going to be around Choice Band of Meow Scarada as well as Agility Iron Moth. Uh, the whole point of the team is to just break things down with uh, Choice Scarf Goldengo and Choice Band of Meow Scarada and then hopefully sweep with Agility Iron Moth in the late uh, mid to late game. This also does have Dragon Dance normal type uh, Terra Dragonite with extreme speed. And then, of course, Great Tusk as a Stealth Rocker. There's also a Blissey on this team, which is intended to be able to take on Goldengo. Uh, but with Seismic Tusk, Cough, Calm Mind, and Shadow Ball, <clears throat> it's able to also just chip down teams generally pretty well. But uh, we're going up against JV this week, this week, this battle. His links will be down in the description below, as well as Lord Envy's. Make sure you guys go check out both of them. But with that, let's go ahead and hop right into the battle. Alrighty guys, in this one we're going up against Jay. He has no Stealth Rocks, which is really, really good. Uh, but I'm going to lead off with my Meow Scarada because it outspeeds everything on their entire team outside of the Protosynthesis boosters. Um, or the booster energy boosters, whatever you want to call them. I didn't take a picture. No, Pepe Sag. Um, but on top of that, it really forces in the Corviknight. And Corviknight allows me to drop in my Volcarona. Well, my Iron Moth, whatever you want to call it. Let me just take a picture real quick. Slither Wing. Why is it in the ground like that? <laughs> Let me go ahead and just take a picture of... Boop. Okay. For this, unfortunately, I think I have to go into my Dawn Fan. I don't want to risk a first impression just knocking me out because I learned this thing has first impression. We'll just go directly into the Great Tusk. And then I think because of my Protosynthesis boost, I think I'll be able to just click Close Combat on the following turn. Goes for U-turn. Could be Scarfed. I could see Iron Valiant coming in. But if it's Protosynthesis, then that's pretty good for me. Uh, because they're going to be popping their booster energy um, this early in the game. Which is pretty good. Because I still have my Dragonite with um, E-Speed. It goes into Grim Snarl. That's okay. I think I might just get up my Rocks. Because I should be able to take a spirit break just fine. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rapid spin twice, actually. So that way I outspeed even the offensive mons that could come in. So I can just hit them with a close combat, things of that nature. Parting shot. That should be okay. That should be okay. If he goes into his Corviknight, I'm just going to go hard into Goldengo. Um, and I might click... Might click Shadow Ball. It does go into Corviknight. That's fine. Uh, at least I know that they're not using these Reflect turns to their advantage. I'm going to go hard into my Goldengo. I don't know how to say it because it's it's gold, but it's G-H-O as in ghoul. So is it Goldengo or is it Goldengo? I don't know how to say it. Makes no sense to me. So let's go ahead. We'll go hard into the Gold Dango. Now, here's the one thing I don't like about this team. This Gold Dango does not have Thunderbolt on it, which is much less than ideal. Uh, and I'm only pivoting into this to prevent the Defog, because I do want to keep up Rocks versus them. They go hard for the U-turn. Less than ideal, but could be worse. Um... I am choice scarfed, so depending on what they go into depends on what I'm going to go for. If they go into the Slither Wing, I might go hard for a Make It Rain. Yeah, he goes hard into this. And he does take boots damage. I think I'm just, just going to go hard for it. Because if I'm able to weaken this thing, this is one of the few things that prevent my Meow Scarada from doing a lot of work. And he goes for EQ. I should live this. No, I don't. Never mind. Because I know I've lived hits from... Um... I've lived Earthquakes from Great Tusk before with Goldengo, so it is it is possible. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go straight for the Thunder Punch. 
Actually, no. I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for the U-turn. Because if they had stayed in and I went for the Thunder Punch and I didn't kill them because of the Reflect, I would have died to Earthquake and that would have been very, 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 very bad. But at least now what I can do is I can go hard into my Iron Moth um, and I can fire off... Actually, Iron Moth might win this on Team Preview. Iron Moth might just win this right now with an agility up. Depending on um Depending on Protosynthesis boosts. He might try to get up a light screen with his um He might try to get up a light screen with his Grimmsnarl. But I am Terra Grass. Terra Grass Energy Ball, and let's see how this does. It also depends on what his um, Iron Valiance uh, Terra type is. Okay, so I think this is where he's going to go into his, um, actually, what he might do is he might go for Parting Shot, sack off the Corviknight, then set up a Light Screen. I could see him doing that. We'll just go for the Sludge Wave. Because if he makes the play right now of going for Parting Shot, lowering my special attack by one, and then going into his Corviknight, no, he just goes straight for the Light Screen. Go for the Sludge Wave. Oh, that didn't even kill. Wow. So now he's going to go for the Parting Shot, and because of that, I'm actually going to go for the Fiery Dance, expecting him to Parting Shot into his Corviknight. Yep. And if I can get my special attack boost back right here, that'd be that'd be ideal. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Stone's dug in. A minus one behind a light screen. Let's see how much this thing does. That did zero. I do get the special attack boost, which is good. Um... Do I want to... I'm going to go for it again. If he defogs, he defogs. It's not that big of a deal. If I get the special attack boost, though, I kill him on the next one. But he has to roost up here. I do get the special attack boost, which is good. Goes for the defog. So this thing is dead. I'm now at plus one special attack. And... I do have to be careful about his own... Iron Moth. Okay, so that's gone. So now we're in a position where I could see him going into his own Iron Moth because his Iron Moth should be able to live anything from me. It's behind a light screen. I am plus one. He goes into Slitherwing. This thing is going to try to first impression me. I'm going to save this. Um, and I'm going to go into my Great Tusk. Because this thing is still really, 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 really good. I can... um. I don't want to risk losing it just yet. First impression, that's fine. I'm going to get up my rocks here. He goes into Grimmsnarl, that's fine. 
So the one really good thing about this is I do have a Blissey that has Seismic Toss, so I'm not overly worried about doing damage through the screens. Uh, but I might click Headlong Rush here just to be safe. I'm going to do it. Goes for the Reflect. That's fine. I'm going to make a play in my Meowskarada, expecting the um, parting shot here, because it'll block it because I'm dark type. Oh, what a good play. Does this kill? Shoot. I really expected the parting shot there. Light screen is gone at least. Look like U-turn. That was a super risky play on my end, but I really expected the parting shot to come out, and I expected him to try to take advantage of my um, defense drops by being able to set up with one of his offensive mons. Um, what do I want to do now? I kind of want to go hard into my Iron Moth. Reason being, he has two Pokemon left because the Slitherwing dies to Stealth Rocks, I think. Um, he has the Moth and he has the Valiant. Valiant won't want to take Sludge Waves even behind a Light Screen because I'm at neutral special attack. Uh, but the Moth, it'll be able to agility up on me and hit and threaten me out with a Fiery Dance. Whereas if Slitherwing, does this thing die to Rocks? doesn't know Pepe Sag. I'm going to make the same play of going into my Great Tusk, though. I guess in hindsight, I could have used this opportunity to set up with my Dragonite, depending on what they lock themselves into. I just don't want to allow in the, the Iron Valiant just yet. I don't want to let that in. CC. Dead. And now is when I'm going to go into my Dragonite. And I'm going to set up. Until Kingdom Come. Because I think if this thing is Scarfed and it's locked into CC... That would be good for me. <clears throat> I do think he's going to stay in, but I think he's going to have to click CC. He was in an Iron Valiant. Is I go for the DD? Okay. Because I still have my multi scale intact, I should live any one hit. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go for it again. If he goes for SD. Goes for Moonblast, so he is special. I do live it. Perfect. Now that I know he's special and Life Orb, uh, this is very, very good for me. I think I'm just going to go directly for an Earthquake, because I think it's stronger. It is stronger, because Extreme Speed is only uh, 80 base speed. Perfect. Goes for Moonblast. But now I know that I can go into my Blissey. Can go hard into Blissey. I can click Seismic Toss and I can get rid of this thing. He does have CC. Do I live this? No. Oof. That's bad. That is muy bad.
Okay, now what can I do? He is life orbed. Reflect war off, that's kind of what I needed. Will he have sneak? I guess that's the question. Will he have sneak? Let's go for the fiery dance. I know he'll outspeed me, but I'm hoping that maybe I can live a CC. No. This thing is so strong, dude. I don't know what I could have done differently to stop this. Mixed Iron Valiant's just so good. Lost some of his HP. And I think what I have to do is I have to click Knock Off. Right? Or is Thunder Punch stronger? Knock Off is stronger. Let's see. Uh, okay, they don't have Sneak. That's good. This is a Choice Band and Knock Off going into Iron Moth. This thing is choice scarfed. It's bad. Booster energy, does it get speed boost? Special attack was heightened. Oh no, but now I don't knock off an item. I should've gone for Thunder Punch. It didn't matter, let's go! <laughs> Meow Skarada coming in clutch. Let's go, dude. Oh my god, and Slitherwing should die to the Stealth Rocks. Oh, what a good freaking game to JV. Let's go, dude. Meow Skarada coming in clutch. If you guys enjoyed this battle, please make sure you leave a like down below for me. Go check out Jay. His links will be down in the description below. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.